Hello, my name is Edwin. I'm a research engineer at the University of Maine's AEWC Center. And we've been working on several uh, exciting projects for the last decade or so, uh, putting composite technology into bridges. And one of the things we've been doing um, special, I guess, is we're trying to use less composite and more traditional materials, the so wood and concrete. This all started back with taking timber beams and adding FRP uh, to the bottom to make them stronger. So we can add one or two percent of basically reinforced plastic and get rid of 10 to 20 percent of wood. So we can have a shallower beam or a beam that can span longer. Uh, this has evolved over the years into looking at other hybrid systems. So we have two major um, areas that we're looking at right now. One of them is the Hillman composite beam and the other is the bridge in a backpack. And both of them are pretty similar. Uh, both of them use a lot of concrete, which is used in bridges all over the world. And concrete is very strong in compression and not that expensive. And we're still using it in compression and we're using, um, using it as sort of the bulk material. And then we're also using composite materials. And the composite starts out as a stay-in-place form. So we have the composite material and we fill it with concrete. And this can speed up construction time and eliminate a lot of on-site on -site labor, so that cuts costs and cuts time, which is all good stuff. Uh, but after it's built, then this reinforcing shell, this composite shell, also acts as the rebar. So normally concrete has steel rebar in it, and now it has a composite shell outside of it. And this provides the strength and stiffness to the concrete, again, to allow it to span, uh, span the distances that you need for a bridge. And it also helps protect the concrete from the elements, from the salt, from the water um, that degrade traditional concrete and steel bridges. Uh, for all of these bridges, we, have, uh, we started the work in the lab. We built some smaller prototypes. We tested them. And then we built some bridges. Uh, we've built some of these reinforced glue lamb bridges, the timber bridges. We've built some Hillman composite bridges and some of the bridges in, the, in a backpack. And they all seem like competitive technologies, and what we're excited to do is to refine the uh, engineering and refine the research so that we can make them the most competitive so that they have a better chance of getting on in the world, uh, competing with traditional technologies, so that in the future we'll have better bridges out there, bridges that will last longer with lower maintenance and be less expensive to install initially. So we'd like to thank you for your support for all this great research that we've been doing. and. Look forward to seeing you out there on some new bridges.